It was very on topic. Um, you had to, uh, depending on where you peed, you threw tomatoes at politicians. And I looked up and noticed the screen and at first I thought, is this just like adverts or something? But then I had a look and noticed that a game came up. And then I was like, okay. And then I noticed obviously it was linked to the elections, which I found quite interesting, especially with what today being the election day. We're a bunch of firemen that is... Which is probably why I don't like David Cameron. Because he shut my fire station down. So. Did he? Yeah, bastard. Oh you, you, you had to start peeing to, to, to bring up the screen. Because I was touching it. <laughs> the screen. I was touching. <laughs> I was obviously holding it. Uh, so I peed towards N uh, Nicola, which is the SNP, which is who I'm going to try and uh, aim for. Because I wanted to try and vote for her, so... So I was aiming and I was going for it, uh, and I was aiming for David Cameron, but then he said I was out of ammo, and I had loads left, and I was still going, and it was like... It should be good, actually. I thought it was really good. I think that's a new trend. I think <laughs> I'll probably see that more often. Yeah, I enjoyed the game. It's very nice. I liked it. I thought it was a very, very smart idea, I thought. You're playing pee games with men. <laughs> Uh, and obviously the results at the end, I was quite intrigued just to see what the results are, especially nationally. But I do thoroughly enjoy, that, that, that makes going to the toilet so much more enjoyable. So much more enjoyable, it's so much fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it and that should be, that should, like a similar game should be in every single bar across the country. If not, every bar in the world. No, no, never heard of him before, no. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just on, focused on the game kind of thing. Um, I think there was one for a charity. Uh, Anthony Nolan. Yeah, I have actually, yeah. Were they on um, the one show? I think it was, to, it was to do with blood cancer. I can't remember the name. It wasn't a very well-known charity, but it was, it was something to do with blood cancer, something like that. The Anthony Nolan show. Yeah. Anthony Nolan. That is the... Can, is, is that the lady in the Nolans that died of cancer? Yeah, it would have caught my attention maybe if they had like an advert or something before. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I did straight away. Straight away I went, just wait till you go and have a wee. <laughs> I didn't hear much but I heard Anthony Nolan. And then I was like, oh! I know Anthony Nolan, and then I just carried kind of walking. walk and I was like, just on the toilet, oh, bone marrow, cancer, all this stuff, and then... I, as soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, this is different. I'm definitely going to tell either my mates or my work colleagues. Yeah, it's something we'll discuss, definitely. You've been for a slash yet? Because it's actually a bit more interesting than, no than it normally is taking a slash. I just told my girlfriend, actually, when I was up there. <laughs> it's the second time I've been to Lou, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for Cameron again. <laughs> I think I, I, I definitely, I definitely look, look it up because obviously, you know, it's quite an unusual thing to suddenly be confronted with something like that while you're having a pee. So it kind of makes you think a little more about, about what it is you're seeing. So I definitely, you know, have a Google. I, I, honestly, I've known nothing about that kind of thing. And if I was a match for anyone and I could help them out, then by all means. But I've never heard of anyone being asked. So if I was to be asked, then by, yeah. Yeah, if I saw a charity on, on, on an advertisement the following year, yeah, totally, totally would I do that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. By all means, if I knew about it, then yeah, I'd put it on straight away. Oh yeah, why not? Make it more fun, interactive, get people on board. You know, even I just heard that word, Anthony Nolan, and I was like, oh, I can register that, and people will come out of the loos and they'll, they'll understand that too, so yeah, definitely. Well, you, you, get, you get people's attention for a, well, a minute, so if you... I think it's very uh, good advertising and uh, you, you are focused on that and then you see that and it's for the first time I see it. Definitely more interactive for people, so they can take on board something more fun as well, so it's not so serious. They can come out, have a bit of a laugh and say, look, I've just had a go at this, you go and have it, and then it spreads the words like that, a bit of a multiplier effect. To take something that's quite bland and boring and just gave it a bit of a... <laughs> but you tend to just look at the wall or you know kind of glance around board but just having any kind of visual like stimulation you tend to just look and take it in um, with regards to the game though I think that definitely kind of gets your attention because 
You know, I think everyone loves playing games in some shape or form. You know, just the way just the way us, us humans are. The fact that it's different and in an unusual place makes it noticeable uh, and unique. It's just fun. It's just a bit of fun, and boys do it anyway, whether there's a game there or not. Well, did you see the game? The game. Yeah, but I just want it for women as well. <laughs>